Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to enable Oculus hand tracking on your Oculus Quest. It's actually really easy to do, it works really well. So what you want to do is go to your settings and then from here, I'm just going to turn the volume up a bit. From here, go to here and now what you want to do is go to about make sure you've got this updated to the latest version i have but if you haven't there will be i believe a blue button here saying update click that it'll probably ask you to plug your headset into charge that's fine just plug it in let it update restart the application you need at least version 12 or on version 16 so i have a more than adequate version okay so to enable hand tracking go to experimental features and you'll be down here hand tracking if it doesn't appear just reboot your headset so just click that and there we go so there's one other option that gets enabled so that's auto enable hands or controllers if i deselect that as you can see there's a button called use hands and if i want to toggle between controllers and using hands i would click that button i'm using hands now but if i click a button on the controller it switches back i prefer the auto enable hands or controllers so if I click that, that button now disappears. So I'm gonna put these down. And now I'm gonna wave my hands in front of me. And there you go, it's picked it up. The controllers are no longer appearing and my hands are now working like so. So if you want to do something like scroll, you can grab and scroll like that. If you want to select something, so imagine if I want to select navigate, what you do, you use the index finger and the thumb and you pinch it together. And you'll go blue, let go, and we've selected it. So we can do that for library. And there we go. And we can, you know, we can pinch and do that as well. And we have two hands. So there's a few caveats. One, if the hands go too close, then it will stop the tracking. So you can't like interlock hands. Overall, it works very well with individual fingers and thumbs. Also, you can't really put your fingers much beyond this point. So, you know, if you somehow could do it with one hand beyond that point, you can't do that. That tracking won't work. Another thing is, as of now, a lot of games do not support this. Uh, but also another feature, if you want to activate the home button, you turn your palm up, you use your index finger on your phone, bring it together, and when you go blue, that means it's the home button thing. And if you do want to play games that do work using the hand tracking, I recommend using, I've got a video covering it, using side quest and side loading some games. There are some of the games that support hand tracking, like Hand Physics Lab, and that allows you to play using hand tracking. Might create a separate video, you know, just sort of showing that off, but this video is just to show you how to enable it. Simple as that. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.